there are a variety of samples that we can image and analyze using SEM and EDS. The samples are mounted on the aluminum stubs, which come in different sizes. We must make sure that some samples are completely dry before mounting, because an SEM uses vacuum technology to minimize air particle interference with the electron beams. The low pressure inside the SEM will cause the water in samples to evaporate quickly, and that will damage both the sample and the machine. So the samples must be absolutely dry. This is the conductive double-sided adhesive carbon tape, which is generally used to mount the samples. Some samples, such as bulks or other biological specimen, are made conductive by sputtering with gold or palladium. All samples must be conductive or made conductive to prevent buildup of excess electrons and charge on the surface of the sample. We are going to take a sample of sodium chloride or table salt. This is the conductive carbon tape. Uh, this is the sample holder and here is our sample of sodium chloride. Take out the carbon tape using tweezers. This is the uh, double-sided adhesive carbon tape. Align the stub with the carbon tape and gently press. For powder samples, a clean scopula is used to sp sprinkle a little amount of the sample onto the carbon tape covered stub and the scopula should be about 10 centimeters above the surface of the stub. The stub is gently tapped on a paper towel or Kim, Kim wipe to remove loose sample particles. And then compressed air is used to remove the remaining loose particles. The stub is now ready to be mounted on the sample holder.